Hey guys, well, <coughs> I'm back today with another video. Today is kind of sad day because Jody Picoult has um, a book signing today at one of the libraries. But the thing is, it's not close to me, it's like half an hour away, and this time it's on. My parents are busy, so I can't go. I'm really upset because. We want to read between the lines, so I have to get that book sometime soon. So that's, that's pretty much it. Until second. Okay, so I'm doing a review on Two Way Street by Lauren Barnhart. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah. What's up? So that's how the cover looks like. I read an ebook. Like most of my other books. Um, I'll just read you guys the synopsis and then I'll tell you guys my opinion on it because I guess that's easier. There are two sides to every breakup. This is Jordan and Courtney, totally in love. Sure, they were a likely high school couple, but they clicked. It worked. They're even going to the same college and driving cross country together for orientation. Then Jordan dumps Courtney for a girl he met in Chen. It's too late to change plans, so the road trip is on. Courtney is heartbroken, but figures she can tough it out for a few days. Oh, wow, wow. This is Courtney carrying on the hair. But in a strange twist, Jordan cares a lot. Turns out he's not a secret to it's not telling Courtney, and it has everything to do with why they broke up. Jordan can't get back together and how it's not all this couple is destined for each other. Like, when you read it, you'll think it's super interesting and stuff, but it's kind of, like, a disappointment to me, because I've read, like, other Lauren Barnhold books, and they were, like, great, and this one was just, eh, like, just, it wasn't my favorite. Okay. Okay, so my dislikes about it was how confused I was at some point. Because it was in two perspectives, but then the thing was, they had two settings also. So it will be Jordan and Courtney's perspective, and then um, they'll have before their trip, and then during the trip. And then they'll get like, super like confusing, because sometimes they seem to like act like each other. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Like sometimes you can like just imagine them saying that. So I had to constantly go back and like check for myself because I didn't want to like get confused. I was like, I am. I had to leave this one sitting because I felt like I was gonna get way too confused and I wouldn't be able to finish it. Um, okay. And another thing is that sorry, I'm like just crazy. Um the, some parts of the book it's like really unrealistic to me. I don't understand why. Just some of it just did not make sense to me. And I just felt like it would never actually happen. But then again, it could. I don't know. And then um, the secret that they mention in the synopsis, I just, I just felt how ridiculous it was. And it just bothered me because I'm just too, like, this isn't even that big of a secret. So you're like, no, I don't want to spoil it. Okay. Yeah, that the secret, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I just thought that was really stupid. And, um, and then the ending, it, it was totally rushed. Because for one point, they're on the first day of college. The next, you know, just, it's at the ending. And I'm just here like, wow. And it did not make sense at the end because it felt like they didn't clarify anything. And they didn't work anything out. And just, yeah, you know, it just, no. Which is not my favorite ending. And, um, yeah, that's all my dislikes of the book. And I had, like, the only thing I kind of like was how, like, at some points I actually relate to it. So, like, when one 
one of the characters would be like upset. I would like get upset too, and I'm just so, like, aww. But, yeah, I get the cracks of what's really easy. Thus, now I'll just describe the characters. Courtney, I guess you can say that she pretty much, ever since Jordan and her started going out, she's kind of like planned her life around him. So that was a big problem. And then Jordan, he used to be a playboy. Like, he would always, like, just hook up. And this was the first girl, like, he ever actually wanted to be with. And that was, like, a big deal because he's not, he's just not that type of person. And then just, like, something just has come out of nowhere. And he feels like he shouldn't have, he shouldn't tell her, so... Instead, he breaks up with her, which was a total issue. Okay, this is might be spoiled. Like, this is a big spoiler. Like, if you don't want to get spoiled, just click out because such thing up there. Things I didn't understand was why did he make up the MySpace girl? Like, who makes up an internet girl? I just know. But then again, I, I understand why you would do it, but then. I felt like if I were him, I would have just told the truth and just see what happens. Well, yeah. That's it from- Oh, yeah. Never mind, I forgot. This is like my fifth time filming this. And okay. And then, my rating for this book is a 2 out of 5 on Goodreads. And I- that is like my lowest rating on Goodreads. The moment, and that's that, and all the, but yeah, all in all, this was an A book. A. It wasn't my favorite book at all. But Lauren Barnhill has other great books also that you should actually check it out. Probably this one just wasn't that great. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.